Hi, my name is Jason Porter. I'm a visiting instructor of biology at the University of Sciences here in West Philadelphia. My name is Rose Levine. I teach fifth and sixth grade here at the Jubilee School. And Rose and I have been involved in a project um, over the last several weeks with the fifth and sixth graders here at the Jubilee School, um, where we've been um, working with them to collect data to calculate the ecological footprint of the Jubilee School. Um, I think this has been a really interesting um, learning process both for the students and, and for myself, for sure. Um, where we've allowed them to kind of take a look at, at the area in which they're living and the area in which they're going to school um, and think about the resources that they're using um, here in the area and, and give them the tool of the ecological footprint to, to calculate that using actual data um, so they can use their um, kind of ideas and imagination and how they want things to be and how they want things to move forward into the future. We can talk about having a big footprint like I have or we can talk about having a small footprint like my son has, or a medium footprint like my wife has, <laughs> right? So if we have a big footprint, a big ecological footprint, what do you think that means? Yeah, that we, use too much. we use more you, resources. Say again? That we use too much. So we use a lot, right? So we use at least more than this one does, right? Mm -hmm. And too much is interesting because that's why we're measuring it, right? Is it too much? Right? If everyone's using that same amount, if everyone's using this much, you can talk to school. <laughs> if everyone's using this much, is that too much? Yeah. If everyone's using, well, maybe, right? If everyone's using this much, is that too much? No. Or is that right? Is it's the Goldilocks effect, right? We all know Goldilocks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so which one is just right? And that's really the point. Well, we don't know, right? The, the point is, based on everybody on the planet, we don't really know the answer. So that's the point of measuring this to say, let's just see where we are, and then we can talk about where, you know, what, where should we be. It was a really um, a challenging project in a number of ways. It's very hard to determine how many resources you're using. So the project involved a lot of data collection, and we had to first think very critically about how that could be done and then how to um, approach it for this age group. And then also, once we had collected the data for the students to see how sort of complex an algorithm it is and how there's a number of different ways you could figure out the, the answer to how many resources you use, I think they gained a real appreciation for everything that goes into something that comes out as a fact. Um, so that, for me, is what scientific inquiry is largely about, is sort of developing hypotheses, collecting the data, tinkering with how to collect the data, then interpreting the results, and um, asking more questions as a result of having done the project. And I think without the help from Jason and from University of the Sciences, they wouldn't have felt quite as legit as real scientists in this project, which they really, really did. By the end, they felt very confident about their process and were ready to help other people figure out similar um, calculations for their own lives. So that, to me, the, the part about being a real scientist was really important. For me, that transformation of the students was, was very unexpected, where they seemed to go from, from students or learners to, to budding scientists. Um, we took them to the um, science carnival of the, the first annual Philadelphia Science Festival, um, and very impressive the, the way that they were teaching adults and other children um, about the things they had learned, about poster, the posters they had developed, um, and walking people through calculating their own ecological footprint, and the level of sophistication that they were able to pick up at the age they are, and for the few weeks we did this, I think that, that was very impressive for me and very rewarding for me. So. My name is Sydney, and I'm in sixth grade. My name is Lachey, and I'm in sixth grade. We showed that how trash from the street goes into the sewer and pollutes the ocean, and how the fish and the animals in the ocean are are um, dying from the trash and the pollution in the water. And then we show how the trash from um, your home goes into a landfill under the ground. The importance of this project is that it shows how recycling is better for our environment. And, like you can reduce your waste um, and like say you have a plastic water bottle, you can reuse it instead of just throwing it in the trash or the recycling. My name is Musa and I'm in the sixth grade. My poster title is Give Me Less Pollution or Give Me Death. The meaning of the title is to say that if we don't stop polluting that if we don't stop polluting the earth then it'll be destroyed. We have like finite resources 
and when when there's a lot of pollution, it destroys the resources in the world, and we won't be able to use them, and we need those resources. But the different types of pollution I found were land pollution, air pollution, and water pollution. My name is Kaya, and I'm in the sixth grade. What I learned was that if you do ride the bus, it's better than to take the car or any other short vehicle distance, but if you can walk also or ride your bike, it will be even better. The bus takes less pollution because the same amount of people on the bus who could ride their cars, that would be more pollution if they rode their cars instead of all the people who could ride their cars being on one big vehicle. My name is Cheyenne and I'm in fifth grade. My poster was about paper use and it was telling you that you should use less paper. We should care about how much paper we use because of the trees. The trees are getting chopped down and there won't be enough oxygen for us to breathe. When I did this project, uh, the thing that got me most excited was um, that I would bring it to the science fair because I would want my work to be shown. My name is Amia and I'm in fifth grade. My poster is about the uh, difference between fluorescent lights and incandescent lights. Fluorescent lights save more energy and incandescent lights. Um, <clears throat> they waste more energy because they produce more heat. Um, I guess it's good that they produce heat in the winter but not so good in the summer. But also when they produce heat, it um, it wastes more energy than um, fluorescent lights. My name is Adam and I am in the fifth grade. Uh, my poster is about water and how people shouldn't waste or pollute water. The problem with polluting water is that people, that the water pollutes the fish and if we eat fish then that means that the fish will go that means that we will get sick from the fish. And well, the problem with wasting water is that there are some people in the world who don't have water, and if we waste it, then that wouldn't be good for the other people. Uh, I'll go to with the water cycle, because it's really amazing how it just drains and then comes back up and does it again, over and over again. My name is Deshaun, and um, I'm in grade five. Well, my poster is about recycling, so I made like um, like different bins like they put outside and recycling houses and stuff like that. And I drew what is me what, what metal is. So I drew like a soda can, a bottle cap, and a, um, and, uh, and like a spray bottle. Uh, recycling is important because because you can use the same water bottle over and over again to save money and resources. I think this was the very start of it for them and it was ideas they had not thought about at all before and I'm really proud of how um, sophisticated and, and well versed they became in the vocabulary even of the project. Yeah, I've, I've become convinced as an educator that to, for students to really um, develop a deliberate expertise in something or even a, a, you know, embody um, an understanding of a topic, they need to do it early and often. So I think this is our attempt at trying to do early and then hopefully it'll be the opportunity for all. Yeah. <laughs>